We trust our state and federal government with, these type, with this type of material, with these types of, of, of technology, but yet we don't trust our own law enforcement here locally. That's my big concern right there. But, but I want everyone to understand that this has been discussed and there is some pretty good rationale behind it and I sure hope nothing happens at one of our schools <laughs> while we're trying to make a decision. So that's all I've got to say. Bobby Stevens, Ward 5. Uh, that's awful nice. I wish we were getting two of them. That way we could have one for the east side and one we could add one for the west side. This is the first step to militarization of the police department. I have full faith that you would never use this in an offensive situation. I don't know if the next chief will be that way. I've got a lot of concern from people about this. And given that we only have, we have a third of the council missing tonight, I would like to make a motion that we postpone this until the next meeting so we can have a full council to hear this. What is your position on purchasing an armored vehicle for the Norman Police Department? I thought that I had my mind made up on this particular issue until I spoke with the Garnand family from Ward 2, and he is on the force for the NPD. And um, she told me, look, the only thing I want is for my husband to come home each day. And they had their little one running around, and I said, okay, I'll withhold judgment until I have all of the facts. And here's the honest truth. I don't have all of the facts, so I will withhold judgment until I do. I've seen way too much stuff on Facebook. I've heard way too much from either, well, really both sides about it being overly weaponized, about it not being safe, about it being harmful to the community. Um, so I sit on the um, Citizens Public Safety Oversight Committee, and I was fortunate enough to listen to a presentation uh, by the chief and some of his officers and whenever the chief spoke with us he said that he um, had basically three goals for this he wanted it to be something that did not give the wrong impression he wanted it to be something that could not be um, weaponized I guess for an offensive use and whenever I look at the specific vehicle that they're looking at now I think that we can find something better um, whenever you look at that brand, there's, as a matter of fact, one called the Medvac that is specific for uh, medical evacuation. Uh, and I am not a fan of the Bearcat. I think that we have other options as far as using rescue vehicles. Um, I've seen that there are many other vehicles that can be used, other things that we already have that we can use for that purpose. Uh, I, I was really surprised when I saw an article about some repairs to, I believe it was an Oklahoma City uh, Bearcat vehicle, that they had all these repairs from bullet holes, but also from ricochets. I do not support the militarization of our local police department. I do support our police department's mission of community-oriented policing. I think that is a great goal. And I think the chief has done a good job working towards that goal. So I think we need to stay focused on being community-oriented in our policing. That means officers on the walk in the beat. I mean, from the police station here, that's in Ward 4, the city offices are. That means more police officers riding bikes, getting involved, being on the ground floor. I run. When you run, you see things differently than when you drive through a neighborhood. When you're walking, if you're a police officer through a neighborhood or riding a bike, you see things differently, and you don't see them the same way through a Bearcat.
want to equip our police force with whatever they think they need to do their job within reason, but having had these conversations, this is what they feel is appropriate. Uh, look at what happened at Nextel. Again, the image of people rolling up in a pickup truck. We can do better than that. I am absolutely opposed to the militarization of the police force in Norman. Um, I think that if we're trying to talk about moving towards community-oriented uh, policing, that the last thing we need to do is instill further fear in the communities that we're meant to build those relationships with. As a woman of color who does have a tribal, a tribal tag, so I am easily identifiable and do not drive a nice car, I have been the victim of racial profiling. I have been pulled over because of my tribal tag, and I know that that has happened to people who are in a less privileged position than I am to speak out about that. I have, I do live on the east side where the police force has instilled and implemented uh, watchtowers over our community. That, as a person of color, as a native person who does not have a relationship with the police that other people of privilege do, that only instills and insinuates fear. And if, the, if this item is what our police force needs to do their job, I think it's our responsibility as a council to provide it for them. Quite frankly, uh, if there's some way we can keep our police force safer so they can keep us safe, I'm all for it. The fact is, is uh, I've had a couple of police officers who are my friends, they're children in the school that I'm an uh, assistant principal in, and they say they need it, and I trust them, and so I want to get it for them. The question is, are you or are you not in favor of the Norman Police Department purchasing a tactical vehicle? I, I think that before any purchase, uh, is authorized, we need to have a strict uh, use policy in place. Uh, I also think that this vehicle needs to be uh, defensive only, and I would really be in favor of this if this was a true rescue vehicle uh, that fit into our community-oriented policing program um, that we have here in Norman. This question is very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> are you or are you not? Um, <laughs> I am willing to consider it because uh, I, I mentioned before in another forum, I, pre previously I would have said absolutely not, and I am very um, wary of the militarization of local police forces. However, after speaking with the Garnand family in Ward 2 and thinking about the safety of police officers, I am at least willing to consider it, but I want to have all the available facts and information before I am willing to consider it. We had a chance uh, at the last council meet, at the last uh, about a year ago, two or six months ago, to get this vehicle basically at no direct cost to the citizens of Norman. At that point, to me, it was a no-brainer. Uh, it was uh, put out there for us. It was a rescue vehicle. It's not offensive in any manner. However, now uh, I don't know where the funding would come from, and since it's a relatively expensive, no, it's a very expensive item, we have to make sure that we're spending the money uh, intelligently. This question came up in the last forum, and I appreciate the opportunity to clarify what I had said. Uh, I support giving our police force everything they need to do their job, but I will do my research in terms of appropriateness and expense as well, because it is an expensive thing. But I would also point out that, regardless of how I feel personally, if the majority of Ward 6 came to me and said, I don't want an armored vehicle, then I wouldn't support it, because it's not my job to make decisions just for me, it's to represent Ward 6. And I think if we do get one, there's going to be a whole lot of community discussions and oversight and input on that if we're really going to stay connected to our commitment to community-oriented policing. Very good. Um, do I support having a tactical vehicle for rescues? Yes. Do I support the Bearcat specifically? No. And the reasoning why I kind of touched on this last time is whenever there was repairs to the Oklahoma City tactical vehicle, it was due to um, having a shootout, and some of those repairs had to do with ricochets. That bullets would be ricocheting off of this vehicle, um, which I know makes sense logically. But um, so for that reason, 
I would be inclined to vote no for a bear cat. But like Bria said, I would vote for what the majority of my citizens in Ward 4 would want.